This presentation is the second part of our look at the balance of payments, and this time we're look, going to look at another part of the balance of payments, another section of the balance of payments called the financial account, which is the other important section of the balance of payments. The financial account looks or includes cash flows, all of which represent some kind of change in the ownership of assets between an economy and people outside the economy. So let's look in detail at the cash flows that are recorded in the financial account of the balance of payments. The first set of cash flows are the so-called direct investment cash flows. These are cash flows associated with investment in real property, such as buildings, factories, and land. Next are the cash flows associated with financial investment. These are cash flows associated with the purchase of shares, bonds, and other intangible assets, pieces of paper that represent claims on real assets. And the third section of the financial account records changes in currency reserves. Every country holds reserves of foreign currencies, and these reserves can either be rising or falling, and these are associated with cash inflows or outflows from the currency reserves. So let's look at each section of the financial account in a bit more detail. Let's look at firstly the section on direct or real investment cash flows. Uh, these can be positive if foreigners are investing in the assets of the economy, the country, or they can be negative if citizens of the country are buying real assets in foreign countries. So if a Japanese company buys a British company and all its assets in the UK, that will be an inflow. Whereas if a British person buys a second home in Florida or in Spain, that will be a outflow. That will be an outflow. The next section of the uh, financial account deals with financial investment, such as the purchase of shares, bonds, as well as bank deposits. So this is affected by flows of hot money in the short run, because as money comes into the UK, attracted by higher interest rates, it is often put into banks, or some of it is used to buy shares or bonds. So flows of hot money in and out of the country will be reflected in this part of the financial account of the balance of payments. Lastly, there are changes in currency reserves. As stated before, the UK holds uh, reserves of other currencies such as the euro, the dollar, and the Japanese yen. As these reserves go up or down, there are cash inflows and outflows into the UK. The thing to understand, most importantly, is that the financial account cash flows added together, the sum of the financial account, must be equal to and opposite of the sum of the current account. This is actually necessary, uh, and it shows, and we can see why. If we consider the UK and the rest of the world, and we say that the imports into the UK are greater than the exports from the UK, we can say that the UK is running a current account deficit. There is a net cash outflow from the UK to the rest of the world. Now, this can't continue forever, because otherwise all the cash will drain out of the UK economy. So there must be ways of pumping the cash back into the UK from the rest of the world. It's these inflows, or these, these flows rather, that are recorded in the financial account. So whereas the current account mainly records trade, which could be a net outflow, the financial account records the ways money can come back into the UK. Uh, and therefore, um, we can see that for this situation to be sustainable, any net out cash outflow of cash must be balanced by a net inflow. And the inflows, as they occur from the rest of the world, are mainly shown in the financial account. So if the current account is in deficit, the financial account must be in surplus. 
How can uh, the financial account uh, be in surplus? Well, direct investment, there could be more direct investment flowing in from outside the, the country than leaving the country. There could be more financial investment coming in, and there could also be more uh, foreign currency uh, or pounds coming in through the sale of foreign currency. So a country could be selling its foreign currency reserves and they're therefore causing a flow of pounds into the country. So if the current account is in deficit, the financial account must be in surplus. This usually is not a problem for economies because the financial account surplus will match the current account deficit. But it, is ca but it can be a problem if the surplus on the financial account is due to selling bonds to finance the current account deficit. Because bonds are a form of borrowing, and it means that if a country is borrowing from the rest of the world to finance its current account deficit, it is building up an external debt. It is building up an external debt. Now, that may not matter until the foreign lenders lose confidence in the economy. And then they might increase the interest rates that they charge on this debt. And rising interest rates from this source will spread internally throughout the economy. And this may be enough to tip the economy into recession. So what we have to learn is that it is important to manage the cash flows between an economy and the rest of the world because if they are mismanaged, they can be a danger to the domestic economy.